Time for another delicious recipe from Erica Schlick. Wandering palette, delicious and straight from the pages of the beautiful cookbook. Erica, it's great to see you. Great to see you too. Thank you so much for having me back. It's our pleasure. We were delighted to have you before on the show and now you've got a great recipe. This one's another easy one, easy to make and easy to enjoy. Absolutely. Today we're going to be making a cauliflower pasta salad. So this is a great way to get more veggies in your life. And there's some great pastas these days made from cauliflowers, lentils, chickpeas, all sorts of different vegetables that you can enjoy. And what's really special about this salad is it's going to have a lot of fresh herbs. It's going to be very summery. So it's perfect for that summer barbecue, picnic, and it keeps well too. Let's talk about Wandering Palette for a second. What can folks find when they head between the pages? It's beautifully laid out. Thank you. It's kind of a travel journal and kind of a success story for my recovery from Lyme disease. Uh, diet was one of the first things that I changed in my recovery, and these are foods that really helped me heal. I used to do a lot of traveling before I got sick, and so a lot of foods I couldn't eat anymore. So this is a way to recreate some of those amazing flavors and dishes from my travels and make a healthy version of it. So it's kind of a travel journal in a way of delicious foods that I had along uh, all over the world. Which is perfect anytime, but especially now as we're all craving travel and tastes of things that are, you know, maybe outside of our own kitchen. So this Absolutely. is a great one to put together. Absolutely. Lots of great dishes in there from all over the place. Well, let's get started on this one. Okay, so we're going to get started making our dressing. And I have half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, and I have the juice of one lemon. And I also have the zest from the same lemon that we juiced. And that's just going to give it a really nice citrus flavor. And we've got one teaspoon of onion powder, got one teaspoon of garlic powder as well. And we've got some sea salt. I use about half a teaspoon, but you can do more or less depending on how you want it to taste. I've got one tablespoon of fresh thyme, and I love to use fresh herbs. It gives it such a refreshing flavor and makes it really, really zesty. And we've got one tablespoon of fresh oregano, and I actually picked these from my garden this morning, so it's super fresh. <laughs> and we've got one tablespoon of basil. And we're just gonna use a whisk to combine it, and you don't need to overmix it yet because we're gonna toss it in our salad as well. So we'll just go ahead and set that aside. And now I've got my cauliflower pasta that's been cooked and cooled. And I've got about two cups of quartered cherry tomatoes. And I've got about a cup of Kalamata olives. So you can use Kalamata, you can use black, you can use green, whatever kind of olives you'd like. And I just use a fork to kind of get that combined in there. You don't need to overmix it yet because again, we're gonna be adding our dressing here. And I like to add more fresh basil and basil is what really, really makes this really special because with the pasta and the basil, it just tastes delicious. So I've got about three tablespoons of fresh basil that we're adding in there. And again, we'll just give it a quick little toss. And now we're gonna add in our dressing. So go ahead and pour that on here. And this is what's really gonna tie it all together. And all those herb flavors are gonna come out on the, on the pasta and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So that's all you have to do. Just give it a quick little toss. Again, I just use a fork just to make sure that the dressing kind of goes over all the pasta and that's it. Your salad is done. Comes together very easy. And the best thing about this, you can make it early in the morning. It keeps for a lunchtime picnic or barbecue, whatever you're taking it to. I'll be eating this for lunch in a couple hours and it's going to be delicious. Erica, for anybody who hasn't tried cauliflower pasta before, talk us through that. That's a great option. Absolutely. So oftentimes it's not just pure cauliflower. So this one's a cauliflower and lentil combination, uh, but it's very simple. It tastes pretty similar to a gluten-free pasta and you cook it the same. You just boil it. You might even need to boil it just a little bit less because it cooks a little quicker because of the veggies. Um, but otherwise you can treat it just like a normal pasta and you can get way more veggies in your life by using it. I think everybody was just saying check plus. That looks fantastic. <laughs> You've shared this recipe with us from the pages of Wandering Palette, and we'll have that on our website. So thank you for sharing. You mentioned you put that together super easy, and now, you know, you can have it tonight, you can have it tomorrow. Is it one of those salads you put together that sits and kind of sets up and is better almost the next day? It can. I think it's, once it sits for a couple hours, it starts to taste better because the herbs start to marinate and the citrus and the olive oil. And you can always do a little taste test too. You can add a little extra lemon or you can add a little extra olive oil if you want it a little moisture. But I think it works better just like this because you don't want the pasta to get too soggy. And this is just kind of the perfect ratio, perfect combination for perfect amount of flavor and not too soggy. 
And honestly, after hearing the ingredient list, let's face it, I don't know that I could wait all that long to dig in. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty tasty. I'm going to have a little snack after this for sure. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing it with us, Erica. We appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Erica Schlick with Wandering Palette, beautiful cookbook there. And she shared that recipe with us. We'll be sure to post that on our website later today, wtbr.com slash BTM.